Ooh, all right. So today, we're gonna be opening up this Nitrous Express kit. So I hit up the guys over at Nitrous Express because when I'm doing a burnout in Bernie, if you've been following the videos, in the Aussie style burnout skids, uh, whenever I shift into high gear, that truck bogs down, little lack of power, needs some more power through that mid range. Uh, it's almost like the converter will bog down because it could be like 7,500 RPM. You shift into high gear, it'll drop it clear down to like mid threes, 35, 3,300. Uh, so it just doesn't have enough power and torque to pull through there. If it's in like a static burnout with water and everything like we did at the ice cream cruise, no problem. Pulls right up through there, 7,000 RPM burnouts, high gear, nothing. No issues, anything. So just lacking a little bit of power in that mid-range. So got some nitrous for it. 4150 style throttle body, EFI, want to go dry. This is something I've been wanting to play with tuning anyways, a dry nitrous system. So let's see what we got in here. So I'm not gonna lie, I've already been in the box. I actually had to steal the nitrous bottle out of it for race week. So we went on race week. I needed this unit for Wally, spare bottle, always good to have. So I went ahead and grabbed this out of the kit before I left, but I really haven't touched anything else. I just needed the bottle for race week. So in your box, you get 10 pound nitrous bottle. Uh, looks like we got a window banner or a rear window banner or something for Wally. We'll get that thrown on for sure. And then we got a shop banner. You can't have too many shop banners, that's for sure. A couple NX hats. And then we get into the business here. So this is part of the first kit. So here we have two nitrous solenoids, and I'll explain that here in a minute. Some lines, the 4150 plate, and these little hard lines. I actually looked up the instructions on this whole setup so I could explain to you guys kind of how it's set up. So you actually use these little lines right here, and they come off and they hang the solenoids on them is the way I take it, which we'll get into installing it in the next video. So if you want to stick around for that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. But uh, Go through a little bit more, got some nitrous jets, a couple mounts, wide open throttle switch, which on a lot of setups you would use on this, we can actually control that through the Holly. But something that's different about this setup compared to what you might get normally is if you order this for a carburetor, you will have a fuel solenoid and a nitrous solenoid. So it's really pretty sweet about this deal is we have two nitrous solenoids. So that's two stages of nitrous. So I can put one on a button, have the Holly control the other one. I can put both on a button. I can have a 50 shot, a 150 shot, a 150 shot, a 300 shot, whatever you want. You can kind of stagger them. So it's pretty cool that this will be like a two stage plate. Pretty, pretty rowdy setup. This thing's gonna be super cool. And then the other part to this, pull this out here, we have the bottle mounts. So. Uh, nice simple little bracket mount in the bed and we'll put it in the bed of the truck safer that way The line to run up to the front that will go up to this Y up here uh, and then split off and go to the nitrous solenoids relay and uh, All the wiring you need so if you're doing this like the guys from motion did in a parking lot or at a drag strip uh, Pretty much everything here that you could use why don't throttle you maybe you would want to run like a uh, momentary switch i have a button on the truck here that i'll probably use as a manual one to call for when i want it and then the rest of it i'm going to actually program through the holly so i did pick up a few things outside of this kit that's going to help me with that install and i'll show you guys that real quick so in this little box here i'll get it opened up real quick is a holly ssr so in this box you have a holly solid state relay so uh, if you've done enough Holly stuff or if you're new to it or whatever, this is the same thing you'd use for like a bump box on a turbo setup. Uh, this is, but they consider it the nitrous driver. It's a solid state relay. You have one that goes to 12 volt, one that will go to power the hot side of the nitrous solenoid here. So each solenoid will have two sides of it, a ground and a power. So you will, this will feed the power. And then the little middle wire here, when we get into wiring it, is what will go to the holly and this is what triggers this to actuate so then it will send power to the nitrous kit and activate the solenoids and this is how you can use it as a progressive within the holly uh, if you want it to click and work like 30 percent ramp it to 100 or whatever you want to do there so pretty slick setup i mean relatively simple not a ton of stuff here to install and to add a bunch of power it's it's going to be pretty easy so i'm not quite sure i want to do it i'm trying to think if it'd be cool to set this up where in that window where the truck bogs down and doesn't quite get past it that's what i want i just mostly want it there to help get it into the higher rpms i have a feeling once it's in the higher rpms making the power it won't want to bog through it's just kind of in that weird state so i'm going to spray it somewhere between you know 
maybe 28, 3000 to like 4,500 and then have it turn off and then I can have the next stage on the button if I need more when it's up in the high RPM range. Cool thing with the Holly, you can set like window switches and everything so it can't activate above a certain amount so you're not hitting the rev limiter with the nitrous on and all of that stuff. So lots of cool stuff that you can do nowadays with dry nitrous, nitrous in general and some of the EFI and uh, kits to progress it in and all of that stuff. So this is actually gonna kinda, I've been around nitrous forever. My dad's always had it on his cars. This will kinda be my first one. I mean, I played with it on Wally, but first true vehicle I own with nitrous on it, this is gonna be it. So I'm excited to get it installed and play with it and learn about dry nitrous tuning and all of that stuff. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got. Got a license plate cover and, oh, I did. There's one other thing that I got. Here it is, so. We got plenty of stickers to throw on Bernie. We're gonna, I think we're gonna use these as some band-aids for where we've already messed up the paint and stuff like that. So uh, shout out to the guys at Nitrous Express. I'm pretty excited to get this thing put on the truck, installed, and hopefully go do some crazy burnouts because we actually have a huge burnout competition coming up. Bradington, Cletus, and Cars. So we gotta get all this on here. I wanna get it installed, get it on the dyno, see what it makes, get everything dialed in, and then head to Florida to go send this thing on some nitrous and do some big burnouts. I can't wait, I'm super stoked about this and I think we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. But like I said, that'll be in the next video. So if you wanna see the install of all of this stuff, how I wire it, program it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. This is James with Build Tune Race. We'll see you in the next video.